We have a veteran that's going to be traveling with us in spirit. We want to all let you know that we're going to be honoring him today and escorting him to his memorial, which is the World War II Memorial. This is Major Matthew Leitze. Uh, Major Leitze joined the Army at age 16 in 1942. He is a veteran of World War II and Korea. He retired with honors in 1965 at the rank of E-7 Sergeant First Class after 23 years of faithful service. Major Leitze was born in Patterson, Georgia, and he flew for the original Army Air Corps, which became the United States Army Air Force, prior to being at a new branch of the service, the Air Force. So uh, we want to recognize uh, 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 Major Leitze, let you all know that he's traveling with us today in spirit. He's part of the honor and we've got one of our guests today. And he also happens to be the granddad of our guest photographer today, Danny Morris. Mark, uh, I'm your captain here today. Jim's up front with me. I was uh, 22 years Air Force. Uh, 21 in the Navy. Uh, welcome aboard to uh, all the veterans especially. Thank you for your service. So the reason for oh, the vehicle oh, 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 Three veterans of World War II. Here you go. Our Amy. oldest veteran is 99 years old. We have seven veterans that served in Korea. Some of you in multiple uh, in multiple wars. So Korea, a Cold War, and or Vietnam, and uh, 14 veterans that, that served in Cold War and uh, Vietnam uh, era. You've served in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines. 
the only thing we don't have today is we have nobody with us from the Coast Guard today. So, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sergeant Hammond of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Orlando, still in Orlando, if I can like that, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for coming out. All right. Thanks for coming out. I think we all have that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Everybody had to get that. Oh, well, Marine. Yes, we were all happy. Yeah, the South Florida. Southeast Florida. Distinguished Flying Cross was the red, white, and blue one, mm -hmm. and that uh, Combat Action Medal is the other one. And this is the Vietnam one over here on this side. Welcome home. Thank you. Appreciate that. And it's amazing now. Everybody you see, you have a uniform on, you go to a meeting or anything, you know you're a veteran. Welcome yeah. home. Welcome home. Good. And it's still kind of gets you right there. To, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, you were all treated very poorly when you came home, but I'm glad to 
glad some Americans are yep. kind of making up for that a little bit. They are, you know. Good. Thank you. Uh, my name is David Fletcher. I enlisted out of high school and I uh, had the fortunate uh, experience of becoming a crew member on the Global Peacemaker, which was the RB-36, the last and largest piston-driven plane ever built. Six engines and four jets. And I was one of five electronic countermeasures operators on this plane. And our job was to find the anti-aircraft uh, that's uh, locked in on us as we go over on bombing raids and then jam them. But my brother Troy, uh, it's my sponsor, he's the one who talked me into coming on the trip. And he said, I told him I didn't have any business going on a trip like this. And he said, everybody feels that way. <laughs> so, so I agreed to come and I'm so glad I did. This has been wonderful. Everybody here is just, I mean, the staff and everything that happens here is just right. And there's a sensitivity here that's so needed for, for guys like others that have seen a lot worse than I have that are in this room right now watching this. They've needed a trip like this just like we have. My name is Carl Galasso, and um, I was in the Marines and the Navy. I uh, spent three years in the Marines as enlisted for, uh, as a radio operator for a grunt outfit during Vietnam. And then 10 years later, I ended up in the Navy as a... Uh, as going through the flight program for the Navy. Spent nine years in the Navy as, um, as a Naval Flight Officer and Intelligence Officer. So I got out with uh, 12 years in. A little bit sorry to get out, but it was the right decision at the time. And I'm really glad that I'm here. This is wonderful. I'm, uh, it's, it's really cool that you guys do this. Thank you. Hey, Bob Mahon. I was um, 77. I was in the United States Navy during the Vietnam era served on a new supercarrier and and the west started out on the east coast built in new york and was transferred to san diego and from there out west and stayed stayed in the that general vicinity as vietnam escalated and uh and then took my separation and came home <laughs> okay my name is raymond bachelor i'm a ex-marine but always a marine I've enjoyed this trip up here to the DC and I hope that you can bring many more to see it it's worth the while uh, my name is Ron Bouton uh, I served in Vietnam 67 68 and a little bit of 69 with the first cavalry division in the Central Highlands and we're on the honor flight today and it's hot there ever was. Did you get the best guardian? Yeah, I did. All right. And what's your guardian's name? Jennifer. 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 Hello. I'm Jerry Baranek, U.S. Air Force, Vietnam War, served in mostly Thailand, Korea, and Japan. My guardian is my son-in-law. His name is? Sean. <laughs> we are really enjoying this day today, the whole day. Okay. My name is William Greninger. As in the U.S. Navy, as CB, uh, served in Vietnam. Um, I'm 70 years old. I'm honored to be on this flight. This is probably the second best day of my life. The first one being getting married to my wife, and and I didn't think anything could top the day. We got on the plane and headed home. And then when mail call showed up, 
that just icing on the cake. And Jerry Rosecki, I served in Vietnam. Um, I'm uh, 71 years old, and uh, this uh, trip was was totally awesome. There's things that I've seen that I haven't seen before, and uh, it was a pleasure to to be on this flight. Hi, this is Todd Dixon, and uh, I just went through one of the most emotional and entertaining and educational days I've had in a long, 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 long time. And the crowning blow to top it off was this item right here. It brought home all the emotions of family members and members we have not even met. Uh, again, a wonderful, fantastic day. I was in the Air Force. I was a fighter pilot for 24 years. Oh, it's just some trivia I picked up along the way. Distinguished Flying Cross, Combat Medal, Combat Action Medal, and Vietnam Medal. Thank you. Hi, I'm Roy Vinson, uh, 72 and a half years old. Served in Vietnam in 69 and 70. I was in uh, Chulai and Fubai, which is in the northern I Corps. I was a 92B20 laboratory technician. Uncle Sam uh, gave me the GI Bill when I got out of school, and I went back and got a bachelor's and a master's, which really helped me in life. Thank you very much. It's been a fabulous day here in Washington, and I want to thank all the honor flight personnel for making this trip. A dream come true. This is Captain Hutchison. I was a gunnery sergeant in Vietnam, and I served with 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, and the 3rd Marine Division up on the DMZ, 1967 and 1968. And I want to thank all the servicemen that served our country. Thank you. Okay, the name is Steve Summers. I served in Vietnam uh, from 1970 and 71 really like this tour. This was, yes, this was impressive. Too bad you can only do it once. I'm Herbert Weiss and I served uh, in the US, uh, the U.S. Air Force in civil engineering and ended up in Vietnam in 67, 68 and uh, was in Ben Juan, Cameron Bay, uh, building new buildings for the air bases. Uh, I had a close high school friend killed in Vietnam and went to the memorial today and we did an etching of his name Blakely Davis and it was quite a moving experience for me to uh, see that memorial and to appreciate what all of these guys did for our country and it was um, a moving experience. I'm Billy Saunders. I'm 99 years old. I served from 42 to 45 in the WAX. And this has been a super, super trip. I never dreamed it would be so perfect. And I thank everybody for it.
to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth. It was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. The sloping hills of Arlington National Cemetery with its row upon row of simple white markers, bearing crosses or stars of David, they add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Each one of those markers is a monument to the kind of hero I spoke of earlier. Their lives ended in places called Belo Wood, the Argonne, Omaha Beach, Salerno, and halfway around the world on Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Pork Chop Hill, the Chosin Reservoir, and in a hundred rice paddies and jungles of a place called Vietnam. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. It is a weapon that we as Americans do have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. As for the enemies of freedom, those who are potential adversaries, they will be reminded that peace is the highest aspiration of the American people. We will negotiate for it, sacrifice for it. We will not surrender for it now or ever. We are Americans.